Hello ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're at in the world. Welcome. This is Ghost Story 38, and today I'm bringing you another Magic the Gathering video. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing on the Brothers War bundle. I got this from my local comic shop, along with the Mishra Commander deck. They had a bunch of him, the new Phyrexia sets, and a one from... Kamigawa. But yeah, I also picked up a package the day before. Uh, packed that one before, so I'll show you those cards when I uh, show the rest of this. So moving this one aside, the video is primarily going to be focused on unboxing this. So moving that aside, and the loose one aside. Just look at the box art here. You have Mishra with one of the stones. Transformers Universe Bundle. There's all the... Um, uh, rig and roll contents. Um, artifact cards. Um, uncommon cards. And it basically gives you a little rundown on what the chances are that cards could be included. Um, back of the box, Guts, Glory, Giant, Robots, Travel Back in Time, to Witness History in the Making, Brothers, Wars of New Look at one of Magic's classic tales, a battle between two brothers that shaped the future of the entire multiverse. We have powerful artifacts like colossal war machines and intricate schematics cards. Are the lessons of the past enough to save the future? Included in this set is a alt art foil of Queen Kayla Bin Krug, uh, eight um, set boosters. I because the one I have here is a draft booster, um, a Transformers Universe card, either a red or green die, twenty foil and basic lands cards, two reference cards, and of course the box itself. So hang tight, I'll be right back. We will get this puppy open and go from there. And got that open, that was easier than I thought it would be. You just had to pull the tab on the side and out, out it popped. You get your little insert here, it's a poster basically. Mishra's Burnished Banner, Malevolent Menagerie of Machines, and on the other side is Urza's Iron Alliance. Get your gears turning. Really nice poster here. Depending on which side you want to frame it on. If you end up buying two of these boxes, I could see getting um, putting one poster on one side and the other on that side. Um, so yeah, it's not really thick. Like it's not really thick cardstock like some of the other inserts were. It's like more or less just thin paper, so just be very careful with something like this. But yeah, you have to excuse my dog, she's chewing on her bone. So putting that aside, now here's the box itself. Really nice art. Cardboard insert at the top. Taking all these off the top here. Counters. With both Mishra and Urza. You even have gear tokens, dividers, holders. So yeah. Um, plus one, plus one counters, gear tokens. Those are kind of nice. I like the artwork on those. Um, yeah, the foil lands and the Kayla card is here. These are the others, and the boosters are right here. And there's the reference cards for those. Um, take all these off to the side. Start with this pack here. robot card we have is Blaster Combat DJ. He's a 3-3 with a mana cost of 5. Robot more than meets the eye. Tap for 3. You may cast this card converted for 
Um, three other non-token artifact creatures and vehicles you control have modular one. They enter the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on them. When they die, you may put their 1-1 one, one counter on a target artifact creature. And whenever you put more 1-1 one, one counters on Blaster, you convert it, which converts into Morale Booster. It's an artifact with modular three, which I explained what that effect is, and then target X mana. Move X 1-1 one, one counters from Blaster onto another target artifact. That artifact gains haste until end of turn. If Blaster has no 1-1 one, one counters on it, you convert it and activate only as a sorcery. So that'll be a good card. And then here are the... Well, that was the dice. So this one, you get the red one. It's semi-translucent. It's semi-translucent. Yeah. Red. So there's that one. And then, of course, we have our lands. Green. Plains. Islands. Swamps, some mountains. Really like the art on these ones. Those are nice. Plains. There's our commons, which means the other foil pack is the um, foil ones. Here's the art for Kayla. Um, it's a mana cost of three. It's in the old retro style artwork. Illustrated by Howard Lyon. Human Noble, it's a 2-3. Um, mana cost four. Discard all cards from your hand, then draw that many cards. You may choose an artifact or a creature card. The mana value one, you discarded this way. When you do the same for artifact or creature cards, the mana value is a two and three. Return those cards to the battlefield to activate only as a sorcery. Okay, good effect. And then we have the foil lands. These are a bit bent from packaging, so I'll have to smooth these out. I like the Kayla artwork. That's a nice one. This one's red this one's a uh, red white. So this would work with the Urza deck. Because the Mishra one is blue, black, and red. So there's the foil lands. That's the reference cards. And now for the set boosters. Discarding that one. That's just a reference card. And first we have is a art series. Ivory Tower. And then Island. Yoshin Medic. Mana cost 3 with lifelink. It's a 1-4. Overwhelming Remorse. 5. Loran's Escape. Scrapwork Mutt. It's an artifact. It's a 2-1. When it enters a battlefield, discard a card. If you do draw a card or unearth mana cost one, return this card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste at the beginning of the next end step or if it would leave the battlefield, unearth only as a sorcery. Okay, that's handy. Epic Confrontation. It's a story spotlight as a fight between the brothers. Mishra to Urza. It's green. 2-2 two, two, target creature you control gets plus one, plus two until end of turn. It fights target creature you don't control. Deals damage equal to the power of the other. It deals equal dam deal each deals damage equal to its power to the other. You've let yourself grow old and your light is dimming. Shall we talk one last time, or sh must I slay you now? That's Mishra to Urza. Oh, Loran's escape is also a story spotlight, and overwhelming remorse is the story spotlight. Splitting the Power Stone, it's a story spotlight as well. As an additional cost to this to cast the spell, sacrifice an artifact. Create two tapped Power Stone tokens. If the sacrificed artifact was legendary, draw a card. And that blue one works with this deck. Blue, black, red. 
Giant Cinder Maw. Trample players can't gain life. It's a 4-3. Mana cost of 3. That'll be a good one. Gurgling Anointer. Phyrexian Horror. It's a 1-3. It's flying. It's a black one, so this works with either of them. Uh, when you... Whenever you draw your second card each point, you put a 1-1 counter on Gurgling Anointer, and when it dies, return another target creature with mana value less than or equal to Gurgling Anointer's, which is 3 um, power from your graveyard to the battlefield. Swift Runner Boots with the old style art. Gwenna, Eyes of Gaia. It's a legendary uh, creature. It's a mana cost of 3. So this would probably go in the green deck, which is the other one. Um, add mana, color, bank, combination of colors. Uh, spend this mana only to cast another creature. Uh, it says whenever you cast a creature spell with five or greater, put a 1-1 counter on Gwena Eyes of Gaia and untap it. And then Aeronaut Cavalry. It's a five mana cost. It's human soldier, but it's a foil one here too. When Aeronaut Cavalry enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on another target soldier you control. Okay. And that's those. Nice look so far. Again, we get another reference car. Nope, that's actually handy. So turning it around. Oh, nice. We get a signed art card series. Steel Seraph. Land. That's always good to have. Weak Stone Subjugation. It's a mana cost one. It's an enchant creature, uh, artifact or creature. We, uh, it enters the battlefield, you may pay 3 mana, and if you do, tap Enchanted Permanent. Enchanted Permanent doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. And then Penragon Strongbull, it's a mana cost of 3, it's a 2-3, two, it says you sacrifice an artifact, it gets 1-1 one, one until end of turn, and deals 1 damage to each opponent. Recommission... Recommission, it's a white, it's mana cost 2, return target artifact or creature card mana value 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. If a creature enters the battlefield this way, it enters with an additional 1-1 one, one counter. I could see how that would be handy for Urza's deck. This is Junkyard Genius, it's a red-black with 1, so it's mana cost 3, so this would be good for Mishra. When Junkyard enters the battlefield, create a tapped power stone token, and then I'd... Uh, mana cost for three as well. You'd sacrifice another creature artifact until end of turn. Another creature you control gets one plus zero and gains menace and haste. That'd be useful. Obliterating bolt. It's uncommon. Deals four damage to target creature or planeswalker. If that creature or planeswalker would die, exile it instead. Um, Yoshin Descendant. It's a human artificer. It's a white green. It's a 1-1. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 counter on target creature you control. And then Phyrak Blast. It's a it's a 4 mana cost. To, as an additional cost, cast the spell Sacrifice a creature. Fear Blast deals damage equal to Sacrifice creature's power to, or any target. Draw a card. And here we have Urza, Prince of Korg. This is the borderless or full art. He is a... Four cost. He's blue white. He's a human artificer. Artifact creatures you control get plus two, plus two, and then a uh, mana cost of six. Create a token that's a copy of uh, target artifact you control, except it's a one one soldier creature in addition to other types. That's a nice one. Ivory Tower. It's in the old school art style. It's an artifact at the beginning of your upkeep. You gain X life, where X is the number of cards in your hand minus four. Okay. Stasis Coffin, Artifact, Exile it. You gain protection from everything until your next turn. Ooh, that's going to be handy. Scrapwork Cohort, it's an artifact. When it enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one colorless soldier artifact creature token. And here's a Thopter. That's some nice cards. Happy with that. Almost done. And here's the... Um, uh, tokens for those and then looking at these from the front the unsigned Steel Seraph land there's a Hoarding Recluse Gixian Skullfair it's an assassin card at the beginning of your upkeep there are three more creature cards in your graveyard put a 1-1 one, one counter on Gixian Skullflyer Flare. it's a 2-3 Rust Goliath, mana cost 10, 10, 10, prototype may cast a spell with 
um, different mana co cost, color, and size. It keeps its abilities and types, but it's a 3-5. Wow. Goblin Blast Runner, Evolving Wilds, interesting artwork. That's kind of freaky. Go for the Throat, destroy non-artifact creature. It's a 2. Demolition Field, land. It basically taps for colorless. Destroy target non-basic land and opponent controls. That land's controller may search their library for a basic land card and put it into the battlefield and then shuffle. You may search your library and basically it's the same thing. Uh, defabricate. Counter target artifact or enchanted spell. If a spell is countered this way, exile it instead. Counter target activated or trigger ability. That, that's going to be handy. I've played for against the Urza deck, so that's going into the Mishra one. Boundary Inspector, nice um, old school border artifact. It costs one less. Um, artifact spells you cast cost one less to cast. That'll be handy. And another Steel Seraph. The actual card this time, it's flying, it's 5 4. And then you can tap for 3 and get that one. Curate. Look at the top two cards of the library, and you then put any number of them into the graveyard and the rest at the top. Any order. That's handy. That'll be good. So there's that. Only one, two, four left after this. And I, I want to say it's the cards are completely random at what you can get. I've seen a couple different videos on this. And the cards are random as to what the person got. Here's another art, um, art series card. This is Island. Uh, Foil Island... No, Foil Plains, Power Stone Engineer, Artificer. Basically, when he dies, you create a Power Stone token. Fog of War, it's a green. You gain one life for each creature on the battlefield. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn by creatures with power of three or less. Scrapwork Mutt, showed you that already. Supply Drop, that was in one of the others. Falaji Excavation, it's green. Um... Uh, Meticulous Excavation, that was in the um, uh, Draft Booster. Reconstructed Thopter, it's an artifact. Liquid Metal Coating, it's an artifact. Well of Lost Dreams. Theron Spider, Disciples of Gix. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for up to three target artifact cards. You put them into your graveyard, then shuffle. Ah... So you make sure you choose something that would actually be useful for graveyard cards. And then a Power Stone Artifact. That was in the um, Mishra deck. I had to look at a list online of it. Ultimate Art, uh, art Card. Planes, Artifact, Energy, Refractor, when it enters the battlefield, draw a card or tap two to add one mana of, of any color. Kill Zone Acrobat, when it attacks, sacrifice another creature or artifact. If you do, Kill Zone Acrobat gains flying until end of turn. Death Charge Colossus, it's a 9-9, nine, nine. doesn't untap during untap. And then tap three, untap, Death Charge Colossus. Or you can play for six and it becomes a 6-6. Six, six. Phalanx Vanguard, white, corrupt. Deals damage to any target equal to the number of swamps you control, and you gain life equal to damage dealt this way. So if you had 10 swamps, 10 damage, 9, etc. Monastery Swift Sphere, it's haste. Prowess, whenever you cast a non-creature spell this turn, it gets 1-1 one, one till end of turn. It's a 1-2. Cradle Clear Cutter. Add an amount of mana equal to Cradle Cutter's power, which is this, um, which would be the three, I believe. Heavyweight Demolisher, it's an 8 6. It's a mana cost of seven. It's Menace. At the beginning of your upkeep, untap Heavyweight Demolisher unless you pay three life or unearth for eight costs. Um, Unwinding Clock, it's an artifact. Untap all artifacts you control during. Each other player's end step, and then Tefiri, Planeswalker. Target opponent chooses a permanent they control and returns it to its owner's hand. Then 
they shuffle each non-land permanent they control into its owner's library. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. And then, I already showed that card. There's the soldier. Got some good cards in here. Altart, Full Art Island, Urza's Rebuff, choose one, counter target spell, tap up to two target creatures, that's going to be handy. Whoop. Veteran's Power Blade, have that one in the draft booster, Go Goring Warplow, Airlift Chaplain, Dreams of Steel and Oil, Iron Crow Crusher, Splitting Power Stone, Urza's Workshop, Urza, Artifact Land Urza, Land Urza's, Urza, Lord Protector, oh, oh my, oh that's cool, you have, um, two half, you have one half of each of the, um, oh my, Mishra lost to Phyrexia, Urza Lord Protector, Urza Planeswalker, oh my, that's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to find the other half of that one, that's Lord Protector, it's a 2-4, and he is the top half of Urza Planeswalker. Artifact, instead of sorcery spell, you have one less to cast, this is blue-white though, so I can't use him unless I create my own one of those. If you, if you both own and control Urza Lord Protector and an artifact named the Might Stone or Weak Stone, exile them and meld them into Urza Planeswalker. Activate only as a sorcery. And then Phyrexian Dragon Engine. It's a Phyrexian Dragon. It's a 9-9. Melds with Mishra claimed by Gix. Ooh. He's a 9-9 when there's a battlefield. Discard, discards two cards. Mishra deals damage to any target. Destroy artifact or planeswalker. Creature you control gain menace and trample until end of turn. Creatures you don't control get minus one, minus one until end turn. Tap, create two. Untap power stone tokens. That's going to be handy. And then Urza's armor. Like the old style of artwork here. Those are good. That's going to be interesting. Would be nice if I got the other halves of those in these sets. That would be amusing. And then another alt art. Um, art series card. Titania, Voice of Gaia, Plains, Rock Hunter, Toma, Cruel Honor Guard, Unleash Shell, Moment of Defiance, Coastal Bulwark, it's an artifact, Defender, it's plus two, plus zero as long as you control an island, so good for blue deck, Thrawn Power Suit, it's a plus one, plus one for each aura and equipment attached to it, and has Ward, Yotian Frontliner, it's a soldier, our Grieving Angel, Ornithopter, it's flying, Battlefield Forge, Weak Stone Subjugation, and a Construct. This card gets one plus one plus one for each artifact you control. That was in the Urza deck, I've seen it. <laughs> and let's see what's in here. Art Series. Thorn of Amethyst, Swamp, Dwarven Forge Chanter, another Weak Stone Subjugation, the Non-Foil, Penrigon Strongbowl, Steel Exemplar, it's an artifact, it's a wizard, that's a 5 cost mana, Gaia's Corsair, it's a 4-5, it's a green, Forging the Anchor, no one left behind, it's a spell, Return to our creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield, Soul Guide Lantern, it's the... Old, it's the Retro Art series, um, Legions of Ashes, it's a black white, levitating statue, it's a um, flying, whenever you cast non creature spell, put a 1 1 counter on the levitating, levitating becomes a 1 1 construct artifact until end of turn, and then Sorcery Beacon of Unrest. Target artifact creature card from your graveyard onto battlefield under its owner's control, and then I reshuffle to its owner's library. And. That's those. And then lastly is this one. This is the draft booster I picked up from my local comic shop. Um, Coleos Rock, Mistra's Judgment, Blanchwood Prowler, it's an elemental, Gixian Infiltrator, Black, Veteran's Power Blade, Takasia's Dig Site, Prison Sentence, 
Scatter Ray, counter target artifact or creature unless its controller pays 4 mana, and then Supply Drop, Blanchwood Armor, Meticulous Excavation, Laron Disciple of History, um, and there's a battlefield under your control. Return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. And then Takasia herself. Green, white, and blue. Dig Sight Mentor. And then Exile from your graveyard. Return any number of target artifact cards with total mana value 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield and activate only as a sorcery. Elsewhere, Flask, Artifact, Full Art Planes, and the other Power Stone. So, that was the look at um, the cards. Sorry, that was a bit lengthy. Um, so, I hope you guys like this little rundown and look. Um, to stay up to date on more content like this, um, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time with another video. So take care, have a good rest of your morning, afternoon, and evening, and peace.